Hey guys, so here's the tutorial on how to access a wallet once you have solved one of my puzzles. In my previous video, I said that the solution to my puzzles will almost certainly be a 64-digit private key, a 12-word mnemonic phrase, or a 24-word mnemonic phrase. So I'm on a website now where I can generate wallets. You can select from any of these range of words for the length of the mnemonic phrase. I'm just going to select 12. Click generate, or actually, this needs to be Ethereum. We're going to do, there it is. So we're going to do generate an Ethereum wallet. So there we go. Here's an Ethereum wallet. Now, our BIP39 mnemonic phrase is 12 words as we suggested. Here is a list of all 2,048 words in for the bit 39 standard. So when every time I generate one of these wallets, it's choosing 12 words at random from this list. So let's choose the word faith. If we go to this bit 39 list, search for faith, there it is, it's word 657 in this list. So there is that. Now let's say I made a puzzle and this was the solution. You get this list of 12 words. Now to access this wallet, the easiest way in my opinion is to go to myetherwallet.com. So here's the home page. We're going to click access my wallet because it's one that already exists. We're going to click software because this is where you can put in either a private key or a mnemonic phrase. Select mnemonic phrase, press continue. And now here's where we can enter our 12 words. Notice you can also change this to 24. So either 12 or 24 words. There's also the option to have an extra word. Almost certainly all my puzzles will be of 12 or 24 word length. I'm trying not to make these too complicated. So let's assume this was a solution. Let me type this in. And keep in mind the order of these words does matter. So if you miss if you mess the order up, you will not get into the correct wallet. There we go. That's all 24. We press or the 12. We press continue. Now, in a wallet, these wallets have more than one address in them. Let's look at this first one. Starts with 0xbb6. Let's click that. Accept the terms. Press access my wallet. All right, here's the address we're looking at. Starts with 0xbb6. Now, on this website where I generated the wallet, we can scroll down and see a list of some of the addresses contained in the wallet. Here's the public address. Here is the private key. On the right, we can see this very first one begins with 0xbb6. So we are looking at the first address in this wallet. And I got there by putting in the mnemonic phrase. Now let's say that instead of, all right, let's log out. Now instead of using the mnemonic phrase, let's say I made this puzzle so that the solution was a private key. So here's the private key with that address. So I am just going to copy this, just one. Now let's click software again. This time we choose private key, continue. You want to enter a private key. So I enter that in. Notice that when I do this, it begins with this zero X as a prefix. I can either leave that there or I can take it out. Either way, when I press access wallet, I'll get back into the same wallet and this first address will be 0xbb6 and we can confirm that that is identical to the address I generated. So there you go. So either if the solution is a private key or a mnemonic phrase, 
you can put them in on myetherwallet.com and access that wallet. If you're the first person to solve a puzzle, there will be cryptocurrency in there for you to take. So good luck on being one of the first people to solve it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. And good luck. That's it. Hopefully it's not too complicated. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. All right. Good luck.